So hopefully you're already familiar with a developer stack. So a developer stack is simply a series of programs installed together to emulate a development environment. And in this case, we just want to emulate a standard Apache server, but it needs extra programs as well. So for example, you need PHP installed. That's an extra program. And you also possibly need MySQL for database access and storage. So if you install the three most popular packages, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, that sort of emulates a development environment. That is a stack of applications installed together. And this program that I have here, XAMPP, allows you to install those programs all together nice and neatly without too much fuss. So you want to visit apachefriends.org because they truly are good friends of Apache. It's nice and easy to set up, but you don't want to click on these download links here. These download links are showing you that the stack includes the PHP 5.6 compiler. We don't want PHP 5.6. So you want to say click here for other versions. And once you go to this page, you need to take a look at the box to do with your OS, such as Windows or GNU or OS X. And mine's OS X. And right here, I can see that this stack comes with PHP 7. So I'm just going to say download the 64 bit version of this XAMPP program that will install in the stack the PHP 7 compiler. Now you may be wondering to yourself, well, what happened to PHP 6? So we have PHP 5.6, so we had PHP 5, and then 6 just completely disappeared. We have an iteration of the PHP compiler that's completely disappeared. So PHP 6 didn't take off. They tried to do PHP 6 and for some reason it just fell to pieces. So what they did was they said, right, since PHP 6 hasn't been adopted widely, we'll just get rid of that altogether and we'll go straight to PHP 7. So that's exactly what's happened here. We've gone straight from 5 to 7. We've missed out 6 altogether, but that's why it goes to PHP 7. Now, once you have installed the XAMPP program, which will install the Apache, MySQL, and PHP stack. What we want to do is open up the XAMPP manager or the XAMPP manager, go under the manage service tab, and all you really need is to start the Apache server. So just click on it and then click start, and then you'll get a green light if everything's all right. And it will start the Apache server environment. We don't need MySQL databases. I just have this running here for development reasons. But all you need to do is make sure you start the Apache web server, and that will then allow you to go to your browser and type in localhost, and you will get a page that looks like this. I've changed my configuration slightly, but you'll see a page like this and you can say PHP info and right there you'll see PHP 7.0.4. So when you see that, you now know that you are all ready and set to get cooking on gas with PHP 7.